HSH og Atum hadde i dag prominent besøk av matematikeren Eitan Bachmatt fra Ben-Gurion Universitetet i Israel. Han holdt i dag en gjesteforelesing om bruk av informatikkmetodikk innen medisin med noen eksempler relatert til autisme. Vi spurte han etterpå om han kunne oppsummere. Jeg har snakket her om hvordan metoder av dataanalyse, statistikk, computerscience, maskinlæring, teknologi, natural language processing, kan hjelpe oss bedre å forstå healthcare and uh, treatments and their effectiveness and uh, uh, understanding of various conditions uh, of uh, different sorts. I talked a little bit more about autism because that's where I have the most experience working with. Bachmatt fick också tydliggjort hvor vitt begrepp autisme egentlig er og konkretiserte dette med å vise til den hyppigste dødsårsaken på 1800-tallet so called dropsy. So um, one of the main problems that we have when we try to study autism is that it's not really one biological condition. There are many many causes and there are many many effects uh, phenotypes uh, uh, associated with autism. So uh, uh, and one of uh, the problems that we have is to classify it into subcategories which are more meaningful and As an analogy, I can uh, relate that to dropsy, which was uh, the major cause of death according to doctors in the 19th century, and that encompassed many, many uh, internal medicine problems, uh, I don't know, liver or uh, lungs and so on and so forth, uh, that doctors re didn't really know what caused death, so they categorized everything, they lumped it into this notion of dropsy. Now we don't have drops anymore today because we understand these conditions better and autism I think is at the stage where dropsy was at the 19th century we don't really understand what what are what uh, it uh, constitutes and what what are the main ingredients and how to subclassify the different uh, uh, areas of autism <laughs>